Hello guys and welcome back, this is Player and today I'm going to show you a new type of elevator that uses the new behavior of pistons in 1.9. Firstly, as we all know that pistons push objects, including blocks, which I'll show you here, including blocks and entities. But um, in 1.9 it added a new feature that it pulls not blocks but entities. So now if you stand next to, I mean in front of a piston and the piston cannot push further away and the piston is standard then it will pull you back with the piston on. So this happens with this as well. You can actually step into the piston arm after it is suspended and after it retracts you get to the back of the piston. This happens in all dimensions including up and down so with that we can have a new design of elevator which is much simpler. So I'll first explain about how it works. Firstly you will stand at this block and then you will step forward and you will hit the pressure plate then the pressure plate will activate this piston which pushes this redstone block um, to power this redstone and this piston will just push up and it's actually just a monostable circuit thing and this is the output of monostable circuit and one mono one take of monostable circuit will activate this piston and it will retract and you will be pulled up to the back of the piston which is upwards and as you were standing in the pressure plate so it activates another level of the contraction and you get pulled up one uh, three blocks by three blocks so uh, to me it's pretty fast so now I'll just let you guys see it in action so we go up from 64 level to 124 and it's actually quite noisy I just turn the blocks sound off or kind of down so that it isn't so annoying but here we are on level 124 and yeah so to me it's quite fast and I'll do a comparison with flying from 64 to 124 so I now have the results with the elevator we have 7 seconds per 60 blocks which is it 0.6 blocks per second and we have 8 seconds per 60 blocks for flying and that is 7.5 blocks per second so it tells that flying is even slower than this elevator which is which proves that this elevator is actually quite fast and now I'll just talk about um, ways to modify this elevator to make it even more friendly with other contractions or other buildings you might you might want to build. So um, one thing is you can actually select floors with this. Um, it's just quite easy. Just suppose that uh, every three blocks up is a floor, and then um, if we want to stop at like the end floor, like I want to exit here. The thing I need to do is to add a block here, which is quite easy, and you will not suffocate with that block. And I will just this, test it here. Yes, so it will still try to make um, pull you up, but as there is a block there, you can be pulled up through a block, so you just end up this floor. Um, so yeah, so it is quite easy to modify and um, a multi-floor selection 
elevator is actually quite rare and this is actually quite easy to multiply so I guess this is quite an option for any elevator in any world and as now is 1.9 this elevator design is actually quite compact so I think this is just a video just for inspiration of other uh, elevator designs and other things that you can do with new piston behavior in 1.9 so I think this is quite the end of the video and um, you guys if you guys have any ideas just leave a comment or otherwise this is the end of the video and I'll see you guys next time bye bye